James A. Garfield, the 20th president. Hey y'all, Dave Chafee here from AVR, here to tell you about one of the great presidents. Um, no, not Lincoln, not Washington, um, Obama. Uh, he's one of my favorite presidents because I read a really good book about him. I'll show you that later. All right, but he had a very short time in office. Which is very unfortunate. I think he would have shined a lot brighter had he um, been able to finish his presidency. Um, I'm talking about, of course, James Garfield, 20th president of the United States. Um, it's only supposed to give you about four facts about him, but there are a ton of great things to know about him. He was the last president who was born in a log cabin. Um, he was president of a college at age 26. He was the only president who was a preacher. He served in the Civil War as a general. All right, but down to my four uh, most interesting facts I think about him. Number one, he really didn't even want to be president. He went to the convention to rally for one of his buddies to be president. And while he was giving a speech to talk about his friend, he asked the crowd, what do you want? And somebody out in the crowd said, we want Garfield as president. And that cry kind of rose up and uh, eventually he was nominated. He was known as a compromise because they couldn't uh, choose between the other two candidates. He took the position because he felt it was his duty because that's what the people wanted. All right, my interesting fact number two, um, he was assassinated by a man with the last name of Guiteau who believed that he, he did have a little bit of mental issues and he did believe that he was owed a position by Garfield. So he actually every day would come and sit in the office waiting for a meeting with Garfield and he was able to meet with him a couple of times. And Garfield just kind of brushed him off as, hey, he doesn't really need a position. I've got enough things going on. Well, Guteau uh, took it personally that he was not given a position. He wanted uh, uh, to be an ambassador in a foreign country uh, and decided he had to kill Garfield, which he ended up doing. Number three, an interesting fact, after he was shot, Garfield lived for a few weeks. He was in pain. He uh, had a bullet lodged in his abdomen. And one of the people who uh, wanted to try and come and help was a guy by the name of Alexander Graham Bell. You may know him for inventing other things, including the telephone. But he also tried to invent a metal detector to help his buddy, James Garfield. He unfortunately was unsuccessful. He was able to create a metal detector. However, it was not sensitive enough to actually find the bullet. Uh, more or less, they were able to tell that the mattress he was laying on had some metal. Pretty interesting uh, to know that guy and that he invented something trying to help his buddy out. One of the last things that I think is really interesting about James Garfield is it kind of shows how honest he was and how good of a president he could have been had he been allowed to serve out his full term. But he was in office during this thing called the, the Star Route Scandal. And this had to do with the mail service. And it was out west. This was a wild frontier. There's not a whole lot out there, not a whole lot of towns, but people out there still wanted to get mail. A whole bunch of people who were in office were taking bribes or they were going out creating fake businesses that would create uh, a route on the mail service line that didn't actually even exist. Or some of them were charging way too much or they would take the route and they would never deliver the mail. They called this the star route scandal. So there was a lot of bad things going on. Uh, a lot of it happened to be in the same party James Garfield was in, but he still decided to run a, a legitimate and honest investigation into all those who were participating. So sadly, he died before that was able to be completed. However, his successor, Arthur, was able to uh, finish out that. There was nobody punished, but there was over uh, $6 million worth of fraud discovered, which in today's money would be a lot more. But four interesting facts about this guy. I really wish he would have been able to serve out his full presidency because I think he would have done a lot of great things.